Hi Scorpio, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Let's see what is happening with Scorpio and this person that Scorpio is inquiring about, please spirit. Hey, Four of Cups. Very interesting. So, let's see. That's what I was feeling. So, you know, you and this person want to speak to each other, but you kind of like ignore each other. Um, or you just really don't give each other as much attention as you guys do in your mind, right? Because you guys mutually think a lot about each other, but it's almost like nobody here is speaking up. Um, yeah, look, eight of wands, the bottom of the deck. What you don't see is this person really wants to talk to you. They really want to talk to you. They want to push things forward with you. Um, you could be connecting with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's, I'm, I'm just getting like an act, like acting like you guys don't see what's right in front of you, but really wanting this breakthrough. And I see an opportunity to communicate, but it doesn't look like either one of you are taking that opportunity, Scorpio. Not really. Uh, and if you are communicating with this person, because some of you are, I'm, I'm picking up on you guys, not really saying what you want to say, like it's, there's not really... It could be surface level communication or it's just like not really telling each other what's really going on in your head. Okay. I just saw the nine of pentacles. Some of you Scorpios may just really, you know, want to be alone right now. Okay. Or you are just in your independent man, independent woman mode. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you see them as the two of wands. So... You could see them as an option, a direction you could go. I feel like some of you Scorpios have multiple options here to choose from with the Two of Wands. You feel the world. Fixed energy, your energy, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. I feel like you're very interested in a new chapter with someone. Now, I will say, this is general. The world can also talk about um, endings, but it can also talk about beginnings. And for some of you Scorpios, you would have to end a chapter in your life to go towards this person, whatever that chapter has been about. And that could be, you know, why there's some hesitancy there. Because it does look like unfamiliar territory. Two of Wands, the world... I feel like there's a sense of excitement about this situation. But there's also the knowing that you would have to walk away from who you are now. Okay. Um, <laughs> Page of Swords. Uh, you know, you're both spying on each other. I feel like this is a lot of heavy uh, watching each other's social media pretty heavily. Or just checking each other out pretty heavily. Um... If you hear that, that's Luna. She's meowing at the birds outside. <laughs> we got Pisces and Aquarius energy here, by the way. So there's just this energy of being tied up somewhere else, okay? And it's kind of like an energy of wanting to be on the down low. Now, I'm not sure if this is your energy or their energy. These are just cards that flipped over intuitively. It could, you know, I feel like it could be mutual energy. Like, because you two obviously are not 
telling each other exactly how you're feeling and exactly what you want from the situation, even though you guys want to. So there's an energy with the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Wands, 77. There could be an energy of you guys tiptoeing around what it is you truly want from each other. Yeah, Page of Wands. Oof. Scorpio, this is spicy. All right, with that Page of Wands. So there's a high level of interest here, but there's also a lot of like premature or, you know, it could be some immature feelings. Um, and maybe that's what you're trying to um, avoid. We have the two of swords, the hierophant. Some of you guys are just downright not ready to commit yourself to this situation or it's, you know, you can't. Let's see. How did they see Scorpio? You know, they think you're pretty smart, Scorpio. King of Swords, Queen of Wands, uh, your, your smarts are sexy. You come across as someone who's intelligent and they find that very sexy. Okay, that's what it's telling me. <laughs> I don't know if y'all just saw Luna, but... She is being a real lunatic today, y'all, okay? <laughs> She's the only one awake. The other cats are sleeping. All right. How does this person see this person? because she's trying to wake up the other cats to play with her. All right, Scorpio. Spirit, how do they see Scorpio right now? Interesting. Three of Swords could be a third party, right? Could be. Third party can mean anything. There could just be a conflict of interest here. Okay, maybe it's a workplace situation or, you know, it could be... There, there's something getting in the way of this connection. Something. Okay. Um, three of swords, it could be their fear of rejection. Okay. Cause we do have the four of cups here. I think you both on some level have those fears of getting hurt or being rejected by this person. Um, there's that dang page of swords again for what you don't see. They're watching you. Okay. They do watch you. They check you out a lot. Actually. How do they feel? You could give this person the impression that, you know, you're upset. You could be giving them this impression today or, you know, you may, maybe you gave them this, this impression recently with the, them seeing you as the Three of Swords or that you're going through something. Um, it's also an energy of fear and worry, okay? They could be worried about you. Let's see. Let's clarify. So how do they feel? How do they feel about Scorpio, please? Spirit, how do they feel? What are their true feelings? The chariot? They feel determined. Like, this is like someone that wants to rescue you, in a sense, guys. The chariot, the three of swords. I'm getting at your service, okay? Uh, they want to get closer to you. And specifically, this is somebody that wants to just pick you up and take you away from whatever situation you could be involved in. And you know... There's a sense of like willpower and discipline this person has to exercise to keep them from saying something to you. So it's like they feel like they should keep their distance, but they don't want to. Cancerian energy. Oh. 
what do they want from Scorpio? What do they want from Scorpio? Spirit, what do they want from Scorpio? The star. This is Aquarius energy. You know, they just want you, okay? I'm getting like you're like the center of their attention. They want the stars to align, okay? You are their wish. I feel like you're just like everything, but this, like, wow. Like, somebody also wants to be authentic here and vulnerable with you, but again, there's that fear of doing so with the Three of Swords. But it's an energy of them just wanting to be close. The star is wanting to be close to you. King of Cups. I feel somebody wants to tell you they love you. But it's almost like they're seeing that as premature. Right? They're like, well, that's impossible. How can I be in love with Scorpio already? But they definitely, they've caught feelings for you here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Okay. Ooh, four of wands. 44 could be significant. 34, 32, 42, 41. Okay, 31, um, 21. These are just numbers that could be of significance to someone out there, but... be specific dates as well because I'm getting like a calendar here. The specifically the date the 12th or the 14th. The 13th is here and the 21st. Okay. These are general messages. Could be ages. Let's see, oh, obviously, the 30, 31 and 41. We're going to move on from that. <laughs> okay. Some of you guys, I'm getting, it feels like you two have known each other for ages. There's just that sense of feeling. It's like there's an unfamiliar vibe you get about the situation but there's so much familiarity that comes along with it it's it's very and it's very it's crazy i just saw pisces i feel like somebody here is worried about you scorpio like i'm not quite sure why they're so worried but there's an energy of them being worried about what's going on in your life And wanting to come rescue you from it. You know, maybe they have this sense of... It's almost like they can intuitively feel that you're lonely. Or, you know, things are not going well for you. Okay, whether they are or not. There's like this feeling they get that you're alone. Okay, or that you feel alone. Or abandoned even. They can also see you as somebody that has a lot on their plate, okay, that you have a lot. Let's see, what's, what are their next actions towards Scorpio? Oh, page of Cups, they're going to follow their heart. I see somebody, you know, I don't see them telling you everything, but they are going to offer you some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation, like, they're going to extend a lighthearted message here or a lighthearted conversation. Okay. I do feel like, you know, it's not as surface level as what's been happening, you know, as of late. It's a little bit deeper than that, but not as deep as their emotions run for you. Yeah. They're thinking, they're hanging back, thinking about their next move. 
there, with the Four of Swords, the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. This person is about to surrender and offer you something here, but it's like the Four of Swords, they have to take a step back and really think about what it is they want to do. We have 444, four, four, which talks about protection. Being protected. I feel this person is very protective of you already. I wonder if you're happy without me. So this person wonders, first of all, they wonder if they can make you happy. And they're wondering if whatever situation you're in or however you are, they're wondering if you're truly happy in that situation. But they think you would be happiest with them is what that card is telling me. So I do feel like this person is planning something. Um, and I look for them to reach out any day now. Okay, and extend some type of emotion to you. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. If you like my style, and if this resonated with you, if you don't mind, hit that like button. I do appreciate it as it does help support my channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Until next time, bye.